Hey, my friend. Yes, it is. We're painting. Uh, I got. Oh, I guess Elden Ring unlocks in one minute. Whoops. Well, oh, whatever. <laughs> I don't think I have the means to stream on PlayStation. Unless you can stream directly from the PlayStation, which you might be able to, but I don't know how that'll work. Definitely, definitely cannot stream it through my computer. I think the computer would explode. So anyways. Let's get this brush. This wet. So since last stream, did a couple things, did some touch-ups on the face, but still need to do some work there. I added in the eyes so I can start to get a feel for that. Um, she's definitely lacking a lot in this area. I think the main thing right now is she doesn't have eyebrows, which is why she looks so weird. Uh, so maybe we'll paint those in first so we can get going on that. Maybe we'll just focus on the hair today, get that all cleaned up, that might be good. Um, the main thing that's not painted on her yet are the metal bits and hey Keegan how are you uh, we also have all these little things but I was waiting until the hair was done to get those taken care of um, then an update on the shield uh, I don't remember if I did this copper on stream I don't think I did I think that I did this uh, Sunday night after the stream um, so shield I have to do these other straps still there's a little bit of uh, cleanup I want to do on these highlights. Like there's just some transitions that I'm not 100% happy with. Uh, and I kind of want to see if I can get the shadows a smidge darker. Um, so I want to experiment with that a little bit. Maybe get a cooler color in there and that might make it look a little bit darker. Um, and I don't think the front was on stream. Well, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I posted this on socials at least. So since I posted it last, I did a few touch-ups to some of the shadows that I wasn't too happy with and got some of the lights on the copper a bit better. I think the steel still missing a little something. But otherwise, I'm, I'm like for, I haven't done copper since the storm night I did was like over I guess like the storm night was like a year ago now um, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I think I just used uh, for anyone interested I used uh, yeah hey Minimancer how are you I'm just kind of recapping what's been done since last stream um, so for the copper I used black mixed with red oxide as the base and then just red oxide then I used Mars Orange from Scale Color. It's a bit brighter than the Mars Orange from Chimera. Sounds good. We, we started the new season uh, on Wednesday and it's pretty good. Um, and then I used this pastel orange peach, pastel peach for the highlights and a little bit of white mixed into that as well. And then I went over all of it to kind of get it blend in together a little bit more. Um, yeah, uh, the tattoo on uh, his uh, uh, Freya. I think it's Freya. Yeah, and he agreed. Uh, and then I used this to glaze over to get some more saturation into it. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, I didn't catch the end of that party Monday or whenever. And also his Wednesday stream or whatever. I think Wednesday he streamed for weird, I think, maybe. I don't know. Thanks. Um, yeah. Also, if you just got Elden Ring, I will not blame you for going to go play Elden Ring. Um, yeah, I really like the new Neko Bust. Um, I'm gonna see what the deal is with the pre-order. Like if it's significantly cheaper or something, I'll probably get it. But if it's like only a couple euro, I'm probably gonna hold off. Nice, how's the uh, horizon? All right, so hair. 
we want to paint hair, don't we? Hair uses a lot of the same colors, I think. Nice. I, I think I'm gonna wait for that one to go on sale. It wasn't, the first one didn't grab me. Um, I didn't care much for the, the, the story wasn't my cup of tea. And I was a little burnt out on that kind of open world game, but it's been a while since I played that kind of open world game, so. We'll see. But yeah, I, I was going back and forth on Elden Ring for a while, cause like, I really appreciate Souls games, but I'm really bad at them. <laughs> um, like I've been getting better and better at them, like the more I played them, but like I always reach a point where like I bounce off of it. Um, but I, I caved and decided to buy it. So it's, it's sitting on my PS5. Yeah, I mean, if you got Horizon, that'll, I would imagine, take a while to get through. Yeah, I, I would imagine it'll take a while, but I've heard the common consensus seems to be like it's the same kind of sense of exploration as Breath of the Wild, um, but with Souls combat and more stuff going on, or more Souls-y stuff going on. Um, and I have missed that feeling of Breath of the Wild, so. I'm gonna see if it clicks for me. Mm. Whoops, why, why is this buzzing? Don't buzz. Uh, Anna sent me something. Let me see what Anna sent me. Let me see if I can get notifications muted on my phone. Oh, she sent me an image, let's see. One second. <laughs> It's like kind of there. I think I want to get it almost to like a lighter orange though. So actually let's get this one down as well. Oh, it's, the New Horizon has a grappling hook, right? That was a... Uh, how does that feel? Does it feel good? I would hope so. Grappling hooks are great. Nice. Yesterday, because today is Thursday, and I'm streaming because there's no critical role today, because it's the last Thursday of the month. Um, but yesterday we caught up on 
ranking of kings and the last episode that's out right now ends at a cliffhanger mm. so you're like what the fuck so we have to wait till mm. saturday to catch up sorry for the phone buzzing i forgot to turn off notifications and here we are we're stuck with it nice Yeah, the, the methods of getting around in the New Horizon look a lot more fun. Because that, that was another thing that, like, didn't work for me in the first game. Getting around was, like, not super exciting. But I also did not get super far into the first one, because... I set it down when Breath of the Wild came out. Started a marvelous Miss Maisel, the new season. reason why this part is gray is because I discovered a mold line that I didn't get. Thought about leaving it. But I figured I should clean it up. I've sunk enough time into this piece that I should uh, make sure it's all pretty. What happened last weekend? So how's the how's the new how's the new kitten and the baby? to go to conventions but I also like packs and stuff is fine but it's also because I can walk to it and I can walk back in the middle of the day and just like sit down uh, but if I like travel somewhere for a convention that would be not an option
Hey, Pab. How you doing? No, you. You are also here because there's no critical role. I'm surprised you're not playing Elden Ring. Yeah. I decided to download it even though I'm not good at them. Mostly because, so a lot of people say this is a lot more approachable than the typical Souls game. Because uh, if you get stuck, you just pick a different direction and you go. So. But I, I don't know what 5k gives you. I have, no one's, the only points that have been redeemed are for contrast. I think the the things where I actually have to like give people things is several hundred thousand or something stupid. And all right, all right, sorry, I missed the other one. Yeah, if you're sleepy, feel free to. Yeah, only two hundred forty-five k more. Yeah, if you're sleepy, feel free to go to bed. I mean, again. No obligations to be here. I just put it on the camera and paint and sometimes talk about stupid things. I'm getting more used to the new Chimera colors, they're becoming a bit better. They just, they behave a lot differently from the other ones, so you have to use them a little differently. But they have really nice tones. Yeah, I was thinking about hopping in there tomorrow evening. Oh, it's like, uh, since I'm Normally I would stream tomorrow, but I'm streaming today. <laughs> Just cause. Um, so I'm gonna hop in there tomorrow if I don't get sucked into Elden Ring. I was also debating like streaming a card game thing because I got that uh, uh, Spire's End game. It's like a solo slash two-player card game dungeon delving dark fantasy thing. Nice, yeah. So I was wondering if that might be a good stream. I know someone asked me to stream Kingdom Death, but it's like... It would be very difficult for me to do it with my current living arrangements, just like for filming it. <laughs> So it would not be fun to watch because I'm still very much learning all the rules. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I think I'm getting a mystery package from uh, Dragon Paint Forge this weekend. Because it's not the thing that I just ordered from them. Because the shipping thing says it's twice as much money. But I don't think I ever finished the pledge manager for the Kickstarter. So we'll see what it is. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, your replacement dwarf. Yeah, if it is actually something from the Kickstarter, I would imagine uh, I ordered the corgi so I could do a little companion piece. I would just have to sculpt a tail for the corgi. go with an elf rather than a dwarf. Elf is my default fantasy race. I'm definitely not gonna finish it tonight. I'm. I don't know. I'm gonna. Work, I'm gonna see. What? How I feel. I guess. Uh, I think I have to be done with. If I want to be done with her for the competition, it's the end of the month. So I have like four days to go try hard. Um, but I know that's also not the most exciting thing. Like this, these stages are not the most exciting thing to watch. It's not like big progress things. Yeah, it's already the end of February. It's crazy. Uh, so there's a there's a US website. I think if, if I haven't sent it to you, it's uh, I think it's miniaturepainting.com. They carry them, so you don't have to pay the uh, like twenty to thirty euro shipping from PK Pro. But yeah, I've I've successfully convinced a lot of people to buy this holder. Uh, and there's also the um, guys in Canada that Ben uses their holder, and I have one now that I've used for a couple models. Um, the uh, Pharaoh. So it's also worth taking a look at this one. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. talk about what else is going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Let's just not 
talk about that anymore today. Tales of Arise, nice. How's that? I don't think I've ever actually played a Tales game. I think my sister played Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube. bought today uh, in addition to Elden Ring was Oli Oli World since that's out now and the first Oli Oli was a lot of fun I played a lot of that in college okay giant squishy eyeball <laughs> I don't I don't have any giant squishy eyeballs Tell me you love me. yeah I guess so loop other people in in our D&D &D game on Tuesday we continued our trek into uh, the mind flayers lair we fought a whole bunch of intellect devourers that had weird abilities and wrecked shop on us a little bit. Not too bad, like HP wise, but a couple people technically almost died. Because intellect devourers. And then. Then we uh, fought a weird beholder modification thing, and my poor simulacrum of our paladin. Got evaporated. She at least soaked up a ton of HP, so I guess that's good. <laughs> and then I went down, because I was in the anti-magic field for forever, and I'm a wizard, so I had nothing to do until the very end. So that was good. But yeah, good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, 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 the greatest thing about making a simulacrum of the, the paladin was uh, in fifth edition, the paladins have auras that give uh, bonuses to saving throws. So if you're within 10 feet of them, you basically get their charisma and saving throws. Um, well, like their charisma bonus as a bonus to your saving throws. So you get like plus five to all your saving throws. So that's why we did the uh, paladin so we have two of those auras going so if we want to split the party up on like different sides of the battlefield both sides can have a paladin giving them saving throw buffs which was really important with that fight our real paladin also almost got evaporated <laughs> she did like uh 200 damage or something to the beholder in one round like oh, oh, somewhere in there and then the beholder just returned it right back to her when she did like 120 and the beholder did 200 to her, it was, it was rough. But we made it. And overall we're doing good. 
resource wise in this dungeon trek. So let's see how it goes. We actually had good strategy during that fight, I think, for the most part. Which is how we made it out pretty okay. And we're a party that generally does not have good strategy. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, thanks for the reset, Bob. do it maybe possibly player version of that and the monsters know what they're doing. <laughs> Should also figure out what system to run a game in. I know Tanya has read part of it. Or all of it.
He just messaged her chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tactics are good. <laughs> I think it's very easy in 5th edition to get used to not doing tactics because a lot of the time you don't really need them. It's not like other systems where like if you don't come up with tactics you can't damage the monster kind of deal. What's upsetting? Fifth edition or? <laughs> I think it's in large part due to like how much they wanted to just rely on advantage and disadvantage. Like yes, it makes things simpler from a rolling and figuring everything out perspective, but it makes things simpler from a rolling and figuring things out perspective. So it's a double-edged sword. like almost no like need for any of like the buff or debuff spells like the buff spells sometimes and like some of the debuff spells like slow and haste are like the best buff debuff spell kind of things in the game I think because they mess with the action economy which is very important but anything that's like, oh, it imposes disadvantage or imposes advantage. It's like, well, there's a million other ways to do that. So why would I waste my concentration on this or something? Yeah. I think from our last discussion, like, I think I still agree with the sentiment that fifth edition kind of peaks around level five or six. Um, like there's some fun stuff at like 10th level and such, I guess, like some fun new abilities people get that can change things up, but it's not quite as big of a jump as like when you reach level five. Yeah. Uh, the new Arcadia, I think, has like, uh, 
Uh, like combined moves, joint maneuvers, or something like that? I don't know. I should start reading those. <laughs> Yeah, the, running the game on rewards is really good. Uh, by Matt Colville. Let's get some what on the power. Yeah, I think it. I think it has some ideas for them in the uh, fifth edition, the, the new issue of Arcadia. I have no idea. I, I just saw the, the headline and the tweet. Or the bullet points of like what's in the issue. And I've not stepped into their, I've not stepped into the MCDM Discord in a while. There's so much stuff going on there. I basically muted, when I was going on there, I basically muted everything except for like the announcements and uh, the mini painting channel. And then I just have the whole Discord muted. Maybe a little bit. Let's do it.
Let's take a look at where the shield goes. Okay, so you're supposed to go bottom for a bit, so let's pause on the airbrushing for a second. Color. We're gonna make a glaze, so let's get some glaze medium. consistency um, picking off a lot of that paint and I'm going to where I want the highlights to be and I'm doing little strands to make it look like different strands of hair catching the light 
That's the intent. I'll see if it works. Food truck for sale. Nice. Do you have any sort of a clawback on your your job? So far it sounds good, right? Seems pretty chill. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely make it a year at this new job. It's probably gonna take me a year to get the stupid thing I'm working on right now to get out, because... God, this thing is so bad. <laughs> Expansion set, which is a transparent pigment. Yeah, so much that like when uh, your manager has your one-on-one -on -one with you and he's like, wow, you're doing so good, you're, like way better than we expected. You're just like, what the hell? And you have an ex existential crisis about like, okay, are they lying to me? Or like, did it just have a lot lower bar? Or were my previous roles like way overworked? I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> Probably a mixture of all three. I don't know. Except for maybe the first one. I don't think they're actually lying to me. They're too nice. Yeah. And like I've done like, I've like shipped like one full thing and then I found a bunch of things that were broken by breaking them. And I'm slowly trying to fix them. The, the thing that I'm working on, it was very obviously written by people who were like, writing code for the sake of writing code, if that makes sense. So they were doing flashy things that they didn't need to. And it makes it very hard to figure out what's going on because they also did not write any comments and they also don't work at the company anymore. And like all of this was being maintained by a team that was like telling my team that, oh no, everything's fine. And then they're like, oh, we only have two engineers now. So we need some help. So now we're trying to take ownership of it. Like, even though like, I say those things in like a complaining manner, it's still much better than 
uh, my last two jobs, so. Yeah, which actually I sunk up, uh, uh, well, I, so I, Anna's been transitioning to a more technical role. Uh, so I had her sync up with a mutual friend of ours, Bob, of the Australian variety. Um, so every now and then I get to catch up with him, which is nice. Yeah. Because she's, she's transitioning to the same role as uh, he is, basically. Or that's what she's trying to do. And I was like, well, he's the best one of those that I worked with directly and he's a nice guy so he was he last time I sunk up with him he was like yeah you chose the right time to leave <laughs> I was like yeah <laughs> good it's very nice and he also doesn't take shit and gets stuff done so like that's what that's what you want in a in that role yes so much hair 50% hair, basically. Uh, Mini Mancer is popping in and out. Also sculpted a beard on his version of this. Uh, so she's a dwarf. Yeah. I don't know. Let's draw on those eyebrows that we were talking about earlier and see if that makes the face less creepy looking. Getting that. Let's not use this brush. I don't trust this brush for this right now. So look at this. Yeah. So I'm 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 gonna draw these eyebrows in, and then if it still looks creepy, I'm thinking of doing some sort of war paint or something. Um, so we'll see. Since she's in a desert setting, which we still need to paint, I should do that. <laughs> um, uh, sounds like some like black paint around the eyes would make sense. Okay, here yeah, I need to. I'm gonna be off camera for a second when I figure out where the eyebrows are. Okay, I think I got it. There's, there's still some lighting that's not quite right as well. Um, but I think it's definitely the eyebrows that are. Let the paint dry on the brush. Get some media mixed in there. So it should uh, take a little longer to dry here. My hair will probably get in the frame. second. <laughs>
Sorry, I just need to see what I'm doing a little better than the camera setup lets me. Okay. That's better. All right, sorry about that. So, goofed up a little bit in one place, but we can fix that up. Oh, but at least now that I have the lines there. So let's get a smidgen of black in there. Yeah. A lot less creepy once there's a uh, eyebrows there. Eyebrows are usually darker than the hair though, right? I think that's the rule of thumb. Commander Mittens, welcome to the stream. I'll give it a second. Choo choo. Hey, things by Diana or Diana? Diana? Diana. Could be either way. So, I hedge my bets. Say it both ways. You join me as I'm very carefully trying to add eyebrows because that's what I meant to do at the beginning of the stream. And then I got distracted by doing very tiny hair touch-ups. Oh, things are happening. Thank you for the follow, Diana or Diana. And our, our dish, Nate. Hey, Commander Mittens. 
How are you? How was your stream? Yeah, perfect time to raid. Uh, we are still working on Helen. I've been working on her for a while now. <laughs> Almost two weeks. Yeah. I did I did the eyes off stream. Thank you for the follow, Relic Nom. Uh here, a quick spiel. I paint paint minis. We're painting a display mini right now. Uh she got a shield. Here's a shield. It's got a other side too. Um, but right now it's on this block. It goes like that. So yeah. Uh so we have been we're in the we're in the fun little touch ups stage. And no problem, thanks for lurking. Um uh, yeah, I also paint I also paint gaming minis. So I've got got Gold Smoke Knight sitting here who we did a while ago. Um along with Roasting Kingdom Death. Well, I got my survivors over there, here, because I've been playing the game, so they're out. So we got, uh... White Lion and Lucy. Those are fun. I do have some to the Canadian minis. Uh... Most of the, like, the pinups of death are away in the box, but, um... I do have uh, Winter Solstice Lucy, um, but on my Instagram somewhere there's the female Manhunter pinup and the female Screaming God armor pinup. I think. Yeah, I painted this at the end of the year. It was fun. I did get some more holiday smutty kitty minis. We also got uh, on the uh, big old shelf of things to paint. Hi, Anna. Yes, we just got raided by Commander Mittens. Yeah, the Twilight Witch is really cool. Um, but yeah, I have the Pinup Butcher. Well, yeah, we are we're working on her instead of playing Elden Ring. Seeing if we can get her done before the end of the month. Just did some work on the hair. Yeah, everyone's playing Elden Ring. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll see if I suck at it or not. Probably will. Yeah. It is. I was gonna hold off on buying it for a while, but then all the hype today, I decided to buy it and see how it goes. Basically, I saw a lot of reviews say it has like the same kind of magic Breath of the Wild did in terms of like discovery, but like in a different way, so. Excited to give it a go. <laughs> I don't follow many people who play games on Twitch. Most of them are mini painters. I think there's a couple who do like variety stuff. Um, actually, one of my friends streams games. He's been playing through uh, Spirit Fair for the last couple of weeks, which has been fun to watch. While I'm painting stuff. Some people on a Discord that I'm in who hadn't. Uh... Okay. I mean, a lot of people are into KDM. Dark Souls and Elden Ring is like uh, goes hand in hand. There were a couple of people on a Discord that I'm in uh, who had not played a Souls game before, so they decided to get Elden Ring. 
and then they're like, this is bullshit, and quit. And I was like, well, you probably should have asked what it was before getting in on it. Okay, no worries. Thank you again for the raid. Have fun eating lunch. Okay, what do we want to work on now? So, I don't know, there's so many things that I'm not, like, happy with yet. I guess, uh, we haven't done those other straps, so let's go paint those. Bigger brush again. I think I think the rest of the stream will just focus on the bits that haven't been touched at all yet. So once we get these leather straps done, the leather strap on the axe, we will work on the little metal bits, assuming it's not too late by then. So that bit shouldn't take too long. And I guess tomorrow if I paint, I will just kind of keep chipping away at things I'm not happy with. <laughs> or maybe I'll do the base. Probably a good idea to paint up the base so that it's Done, so I can start looking at the whole thing.
team over on the raid has anything fun they're working on or any questions or anything feel free to share slash ask Hey, it's Greggy. Because Greggy's a VIP. How are you doing, Greggy? It's, it's so sexy because you're here, Greggy. I, I think you don't you don't have the pink diamond because you can only be one of a VIP or a mod. I think is how it works. I'm pretty sure. And I think I just was too lazy to add VIP to other people. I don't really know what it does, but Greggy's special. I think you had VIP for a while, Anna, and then you wanted to be a mod. Hey, what have you been up to, Greggy? Yeah, I'm doing good. Been working at the new place. It's been going well. Painted lots of minis already this year for Kingdom Death. And now working on this thing for forever. Maybe we'll finish her at some point. We'll see. <laughs> what are you even painting lately? Okay, well. <laughs> See you, Greggy. Thank you for stopping by. Phenomenal cosmic power. Yeah. Been. I feel like the bots have been 
a lot less lately, which is good. Because apparently scale color can't make anything that doesn't clog all the goddamn time. Let's add another layer of texture, then we're going to do another layer of glazing and see how it looks. But let's actually hit this with an airbrush or hair dryer first. Oops. 
just realized I'm AFK off. I'm AFK, that's what I was trying to say. Oops. Fine, that's why we have these glazes here. I was thinking about shifting these a little bit more reddish. Jump over to the X handle. Let's use this. Let's get a couple of other colors out here.
Let's see what that sleep is camera down there, right? Let's just camera down this thing, right? There we go. Got the handles figured out. So, now we 
I got little metal bits. up a while ago. Okay, metal bits. What kind of metals are we thinking of on her? silver on some of them, see if we want to change any of them to gold, or I guess steel. He was here. You missed a mini mancer. Came and went like uh, something on the wind. I don't know what the saying is. Which lady are you painting up, Minimancer? Or do you mean like you were coloring your actual lady, as in your, your significant other's hair?
Noise. Poe loves carrots. No, no carrots right now, buddy. <laughs> and no, I'm not reaching for the hairdryer either. You can go back to bed. But he knows that when I make lunch, I will usually give him a carrot. So he comes over and goes, hey. Give me a carrot. Excuse me, sir. I'm making my bed. Little turd. Are you done? No. I used to do that when I'm on video calls. You will uh, jump up on my bed and then unmake it. It's great. I don't know about if he has good taste or not. He likes he likes pretty much everything. <laughs> Hey Crypt, how are you doing? I mean, it's been a long week, <laughs> so I do not blame you for sleeping all day.
Yeah, I woke up at like what's o'clock this morning. I don't know. Well, I imagine I why, but couldn't go back to bed really. I think I fell asleep for a little bit, but it's about like an hour and a half before my alarm was supposed to go off, so that was fun. <laughs> Thanks. Painting the last little bits that don't have any paint on them. Well, besides all the beads and stuff in her hair, we're not gonna do those today. And I'm gonna spend as much time until I'm sick of her to get her good. And I can, I'm still not sold on the skirt. I haven't touched it. I, I keep saying that, but I haven't touched it yet to fix it. It looks okay out of my hobby light, but uh, the texture's not good and I think it's slightly too saturated or bright. Topic of NMM, Pizarski posted, uh, or Carol Rudick posted Pizarski's whip of the new vampire guy. And he's painting red, non metallic armor. It looks so good. I think I posted it in my story if you haven't seen it on Instagram. just wild. Alright, Bob. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I'll see you on the discords and stuff. Probably be ending in just a little bit. Cause that tiredness is starting to catch up with me. But tomorrow's Friday, which is kind of like a I don't have to wake up as early on Fridays. There's no stand up or anything. Or usually I don't have to wake up as early as on Fridays. As early on Fridays. Every now and then I do. But I don't think I do tomorrow. Okay. Let's just paint this. Oh, I got these colors here. See if we like this as a steel as well, but I'm thinking we might want to make this gold, but we'll see. Steel might be the right choice. We got a whole bunch of colored stuff going on with the shield. She's already got her hair. Thank you. 
Okay. Just going around the leather that we've done previously and adding some scratches, wearing down the edges a little bit, just giving it a snitch and more character. and probably fingernails wherever they are probably also need some touching up um, let's actually take a crack at that right now we got colors on the top that might work yellow Thanks, Craigie, and welcome back, or still here, I don't know. I've been, I've been experimenting a lot, especially on this model. I didn't fully do my like layer up, layer down kind of thing. Um, I tried to, I tried but did not commit to uh, 
some ways like how Maskin's paints, because I got that uh, article in the magazine that Maskin's wrote. For a lot of his style seems like he'll start at the opposite ends and kind of work his way in. So he'll establish like the shadow and the highlight, and then he'll blend the mix and then go in and keep on repeating that until it's done. Um, I tried sort of doing something like that, but didn't do it fully. I think I would like to try that on a bust or something. I really want to see if I can like figure out how he gets all that texture into his skin, but still make it look like skin. see the toes yeah real human skin I mean I wouldn't doubt it but he has those like fit draw the owl images that he posts on his Instagram where it's like four snapshots of how he does skin <laughs> and it's like okay start with a sketch refine it a little bit refine it a little bit more and then bam finish the owl and it's like okay thanks thanks buddy but actually, those are actually pretty insightful. Exactly, yeah. But here's, a, here's the article I was talking about. I've been pulling it up for the past few days. Might as well show it. Uh, but it's for the bust that Black Sun still hasn't released. That's really cool. Um, but it's like a... Oops. Booba. No booba. Today. Yeah. Uh, you have the, the... I saw the sketchy one. Or do you have a different one now? Um, but yeah, I took some pictures of that when I was there last. But yeah. we. I, I know Anna wants to go to Portland again. I think we're just figuring out when a good time to do all that is. Yeah, I found the third or fourth picture. Uh, he also... Uh, I need to read it, but he wrote... There's a blog post on how he did... I can't remember the, the big child creatives uh, model's name. It's one of the new, the Songs of Sorrow. No, Song of War. <laughs> Not Song of Sorrow, the opposite. Uh, the Song of Sorrow, the Song of War bust of the, uh, the like black magic lady. Um, like, Anna just wants to come to bar. Because we don't have a good like brick toast place here. Apparently. But yeah. I think it's just mostly figuring out when we can go because Anna just had a big work thing. I mean, I mean, my work is pretty chill, so I can just kind of do whatever I think. And I think we're also kind of waiting to see what happens with Rona. But it looks like cases are going down. So that's at least some good news from this week. And it's, it's really good toast. It's really good toast, Crip Shadow. But also just like the food in Portland in general is really nice. And also we should probably go on a day when everything's not closed. Uh, cause we, yeah, Greggy had really good recommendations. We went to a really nice, uh, French restaurant when we were down there. It was fantastic. It, was like, it wasn't, like, quite French-French, but it was, like, French-inspired. I don't know how to describe it. It was tasty, is how to describe it. The other thing I've tried a lot in this piece, in the last few pieces, uh, is using the airbrush a lot more for everything and not just like that mid-tone glaze, but like, uh, 
going back in and adding highlights and shadows after that glaze just to get more comfortable with it keep pushing and because I watched too many of uh, Sergio's streams for a birthday or something like that. Yeah, because yeah, because we went in the first half of the week and like Monday or Tuesday everything was closed, basically. I mean we still had stuff to do, but sense makes more sense to be closed those days than uh the weekend or end of the week yeah so i'm, I'm just kind of going around this uh axe adding some scritchy scratches similar to what we have on the shield but doing it in the way i should have done the shield where we have all the highlights and stuff established Instead of trying to stop slide with the scratches, that was, that was stupid. That was stupid. Why did I do that? That's not a good idea. Oh, the, uh, the, the three or four hundred dollar, uh, like, toaster oven thing that has the water. I think I know the one you're talking about. I don't know what makes sense or doesn't make sense. Also, I have this band-aid on because I was, got back from my walk and my finger was bleeding and I don't know how that happened. So that was fun. I think it was just the cold. Probably. We, we had a, a bit of a cold snap up in Seattle. It like snowed twice this week or something, which is crazy. And on my run yesterday, there was still some snow in some places. It's been a weird week. Oh yeah, the restaurant closed, does that make sense? Yeah. Single slice toaster. Okay. Well, so like the the toast that we're talking about is like a fancy like thick milk bread kind of toast, like the the Asian kind of brick toast, and then you can get like sweet kind of flavors for those like Nutella or like French toast kind of things and stuff like that. Yeah, Japanese style. Yeah. Um, or you could get savory, where it's like there was like curry and. Uh, beef and all that good stuff in there. Very tasty. I'm really surprised there isn't a place in Seattle that seems to do something. Like there's places that have brick toast, but usually it's like just sweet. I don't know. Maybe I'll look again. A restaurant. Maybe I'll just ask the people at the good cafe to be like, hey, you should start making toast. Purely because I want toast. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, I don't know. And then I'll say, well, maybe Poe wants toast. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. We'll make the toast. They like Poe a lot. They throw so many treats at Poe when we go there. Gotta go play tomorrow, Po. Oh, he's all snuggled up in the sheets. In the mess that he made. 
call it a good boy. Okay. Exploding my dog for Tosio. Yeah. He's gotta make his rent somehow, right? Let's see what my day looks like. I'm not gonna bring you the brekkie sandwich, Crypt. It's not gonna be good by the time I get there. Okay. So, I think I'm, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here, but like some closing thoughts. Um, here looks okay. Uh, it was very subtle changes we did today. I think I could maybe push like specular highlights up in a couple places. Uh, Crips in California, I think. Um, I'm happy with how these metal bits came up for like how little time we spent on them. So that's good. Leather down here is fine, whatever. Um, the face, well now we have eyebrows, so it looks less creepy, so that's good. If you meet in the middle in Portland, that's not the middle, but um, yeah, the, my, my computer's chugging, so we should definitely wrap up the stream. Um, this is still not right. Uh, I think I need to keep pushing this highlight over. Um, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't look quite right just yet. Uh, and I think that this shadow is still too dark. So maybe I'm just gonna hit this side with the airbrush very lightly. Oh, shoot, she's got earrings too. Let's paint those real quickly. I lied. I lied. Oh, well, actually, no, we'll paint them different colors. We'll do with them when we're doing the beads. I didn't lie. Okay. Um, is he in like Vancouver, Washington? So yeah, remaining things that don't have paint on them. I guess there's this thing. Her earrings. These two hiddities. Which will do you all kind of at the same time. And I guess those leather straps there which we probably should paint tonight, but whatever, that's fine. But I'm tired. So I will not stream tomorrow. I will do a little bit of work on her offline. Just keep doing little tweets. Uh, maybe Sunday. Uh, Sunday's gonna be basically the last day to work on it. Um, so maybe we'll work on the base or something if I haven't worked on it by then. We'll see if we can wrap it up before the end of the month. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you all very much for stopping by. Yeah, I have no idea where they make the leather crib. Um, somewhere, I'm sure. But let's stop putting paints away, Nick, and let's uh, do the raid because we have so many people here as we slowly fall apart. So let's see. Let's make the stream go crappy. Let's see if there's anybody we know online. I have no idea because I don't stream on Thursday, so I don't know who's on. So we're gonna find out if this ever votes. Oh, I forgot to clean the airbrush. Let's do that real quickly. Oh, this all loads up. Come on, you can load. There we go. The toaster's name is Mitsubishi. Okay. I want a Mitsubishi toaster. Uh, Lapolius is on. We can go raid him. As soon as I finish. Probably do a deep clean of that, but I'm not gonna do that now. That's future Nick's problem. Okay, let's go raid Rapolius. Let's go see some oil painting. So, thank you, cat, everybody. Oh, well, yeah, let me grab this link. Oh no, oh, it'll be there, maybe. Actually, no, it won't be. Oh no. Oh no. 
I don't know if I copied. We'll find out. Probably not. <laughs> Come on. I did not copy. Okay, well, I'll get it later. <laughs> Someday I'll have a computer, maybe. That doesn't suck. Okay. But anyways, have a good night, everybody. See you Sunday. Yeah. All right, wait.